um, hi everyone. Um, today it's uh, time for a, uh, an accessory. Um, many of you bought the uh, reciprocating um, sander. Um, that one seems to have flown off the uh, flown off the shelves, um, and I really do have problems keeping it in stock because I can only get uh, so many from the from the manufacturer. Um, now, because when you unpack it, um, you have lots of uh, lots of sanding heads. Um, now these uh, these guys. Let me just reach over for a few. These guys. So when you unpack it, you get uh, you know, eight of these. And of course, um, when you're actually using uh, the sander uh, for a, for a project, of course, what do you do with these guys? Um, I think most people say, well, I'll put the sandpaper on and then just put them in a pot, um, you know, near my near my workbench somewhere, so I can just reach for for the ones that you uh, that you want. That's not very elegant for me. Um, as soon as I uh, I got mine, um, I was looking around for a solution, some kind of storage um, uh, box, uh, you know, for for these guys because um, you know you get. Uh, you get eight in the, in the pack. You know, these, you know, it's, it's quite a lot. And I, I just didn't want these just sitting loose uh, in a in a pot somewhere. Um, and also, um, there weren't uh, enough uh, stickers uh, to to mark each one of these with uh, the different uh, sanding grids. Um, so I thought there's got to be a better solution for that um, because what a lot of you are doing, and I guess and exactly what I I did as soon as I got the the sander, uh, is you're buying multiple packs of, of these heads. You're doing what I'm doing, which is putting uh, the um, the grits of sandpaper I tend to use the most onto um, onto uh, sets of heads, and then having each set in a in a different uh, different pot. That way, you can just reach for the head you want and then move through the different sanding grits um, you know, very very uh, efficiently. Um, so I didn't want to stop, take a head, peel the sandpaper off, uh, put the next one on, and so on and so on. So a lot of you are doing exactly that. So you're buying multiple uh, packs of these. Now, um, as I do, I had a look around because there's got to be a better solution, um, particularly if uh, you are um, wanting to use, say, three, four, or even five different kinds of of, of grits um, in your in your model making. Um, you know, I tend to go uh, probably four, four to six, or, or thereabouts for for some applications. So if that's the case, how do you store these? So what I've sourced is uh, basically a box. Uh, let me just get one for you. It's this guy. Um, took a bit of time to uh, to find him. Uh, it's got eight um, eight cells. Um, very strong piece of uh, plastic. It's, it's robust. Uh, it's going to stand up to the knocks and uh, any kind of spillages on on your bench. Um, and it's it's ideal. Let me just uh, drop these guys into uh, into the box, and you can see uh, what uh, what I was thinking about. It took a long time to find this guy. Uh, so obviously the last one is on the uh, on the sander itself. And that's a solution I've come up with uh, for, for storing these guys, whether you've got one pack or more importantly, if you've got multiple packs of these. Because what I've been doing is, um, for instance, if this one is, let me just get the uh, the sticker set. So this is a sticker set. So for instance, uh, if this particular set has got the 1500 uh, grit uh, on it, so what I'm doing is, is that. So I put, put a sticker on that box, and then I know that that box has got uh, 1500 grit uh, sandpapers on all of the heads. And then what I'm doing is I'm getting multiple boxes and basically stacking them up on my bench. Uh, and then when I um, um, do need to, to use the, the actual sander itself, I know precisely which grit is in which box. Uh, and then when I finish, they just uh, sit on the back of my bench, uh, nice and uh, uh, nice and tidily. Uh, you know, keeps all the all the, all the uh, grit and all the all the debris uh, from um, uh, hitting these these heads, which would be the case with an open pot if they were just stored uh, stored that way. So that's that's my my sort of my solution to uh, to that. And I've got several of these stacked uh, on my on my bench. I say, all labelled up. Um, very, very efficient. I've, I've been finding, uh, you know, literally, because if I'm going to go through several of these uh, these packs. Uh, I can literally reach for the box, have the several boxes open, get the sander, reach for a, a particular uh, size of head or shape, do the sanding, and the important thing is to put it back in its box when you're finished. That's the important thing because these aren't labelled; they're only boxes. So if you have several of these, uh, let me put it in a shot like that. If you have several of these in, in sort of you know, in, in, on your bench, um, it's important that you get into a habit. So when you uh, take the head off, put it back in the property box, uh, and then you don't have the issue of I've got this black head, 
what's the, what's the standing grit on there? So you, you must get in the habit of doing that. And that's what I've been doing. Get in the habit of finish with, finish with the head, put it back in its cell. And then you know exactly where, where it's going to be. Uh, and speaking of the box, um, I, uh, I say I took a bit of time to find one. Um, sometimes they're too large, too deep. Uh, this guy uh, is, is absolutely just right. Now that old idea of uh, it's, uh, it's, the, it's the, uh, the Goldilocks, just right. Um, yeah, you can reach in quite easily. You, uh, it's it's easy to put down. It's just the right size. It's not too bulky either. Um, just obviously, I didn't want this to take up massive amounts of space on my desk because I have several of these stacked uh, with all the different uh, sandpapers uh, grits that I use. Um, and of course, if you need to change that, it's quite uh, quite easy. Uh, yeah, literally, it's take take all the uh, different heads off, put the new sandpapers on, and all you have to do then is change the stick on the box. Uh, you don't have to, you know, do the whole uh, st sticker regime on each of the each of the heads, and of course, the actual sticker set you get uh, doesn't have enough. Uh, you don't have enough uh, to to cover all of the all of the heads multiple times. Um, so this solution uh, kind of uh, kind of fixes that. Um, so that's the box which I've sourced for for all you guys that have bought um, the uh, reciprocal uh, sander. Um, yeah, it's it's one of those. I guess an upgrade, uh, one of those accessories, which um, is very, very useful. Uh, particularly, uh, as I said, you guys are buying multiple packs of these heads, and that, you know, I don't know why, because you want to put all the, you know, the grits on. Uh, but how do you store them? How do you make them uh, easy for access? Um, and also keep them clean and you know, free of uh, free of debris. Uh, and this guy uh, absolutely uh, you know, does that. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, the uh, a very simple but elegant uh, elegant solution. So that's the uh, the storage box uh, for the reciprocal uh, sander sander hits um so if any of you say i uh, think that uh, maybe the storage solution you have uh, maybe is an upgrade uh you know this guy uh, might be uh, something to uh, to take uh, take a look at uh, as always any questions any queries do come back to me